Right then guys, just finished the half 912 AMD build. Um, it went well. Here's the side of the case. I installed all Cooler Master fans, all blue LED fans. I have four 120mm fans and one 200mm fan. Uh, you can see here there's a 120 intake there on the side. We have here a 200 millimeter fan up top for an exhaust. You can see up front, there's the Asus DVD optical drive. In here in the front, there's two 120 millimeter fans for intake. And the side, there's nothing, just the plain side panel there. And in the rear, there's a 120 for exhaust. So, this is the way it looks. I really like the case. I call it like the mini me of mine, of the half X. Well, this is like the real little brother. So, cool little half logo there on the side. I have some thumb screws there, only on that, only on the, the side where you want to take it off, you know, not where the cable management goes. Um, got USB 2.0 up front, two of those, headphone, mic, reset, power. Uh, the LEDs there, are, they light up red for the power and hard drive indicator LED. Um, let's see. Let's open up the case and see what we have inside. Alrighty, I just removed the, the side panel. You can see inside the half 912 case. Well, the inside of the case is not painted black. I would like that. I would like for it to be painted black, but it's, you know, it's like a budget gaming case, I guess. Um, it still has some cool features in the case, like it has a toolless design here lock and open for the optical dry bay only has so only comes with one um, and it has uh, toolless hard disk drive um, mechanisms or whatever you call it uh, it comes with more than one it's pretty cool um, stuff like that um, all around the case is pretty decent uh, cable management is a little difficult in this particular case not too too much room especially when you're going with a lot of cables a lot of fans stuff like that because I you know like I said I have five fans in this thing and the cables was just a lot good thing I have a ultra x4 fully modular 750 watt power supply so I only connected what I needed um, so it won't be too much of a mess on cables um, tried my best I'm not a big fan of cable management I mean I am but I'm not a big fan of doing it <laughs> so yeah okay let's see here there's a 120 in the rear there there's some grommets there for some water cooling that's pretty cool um, there's a 200 millimeter fan there and you can see the two fronts there hopefully you can try to see that um, there's a Samsung F31 terabyte, 7200 RPM, 32 megabytes of cache uh, for the hard drive. It's actually it's really fast so far. I've installed the operating system and it was really, really, really fast, really quick install. Really, you know, I was really surprised. Um, we have here a stock heat sink for the CPU cooler. Um, Underneath the heatsink is the AMD 955X4 Phenom X4 quad core 3.2 gigahertz, uh, 8 megabytes of cache processor. Um, this particular heatsink here I used off of my 1090T. It's a little bit more beefier than the stock heatsink for the 955. So I went with this one um, since I won't be using. I don't like using stock coolers, but you know, uh, for now, there you go. There I have for the RAM, 
I have four gigabytes of DDR3, 1600 megahertz, cache seven latencies, XMS3 Corsair RAM. As you can see, sort of there. I like that RAM a lot. It's really fast. Um, motherboard, I'm using the 890FXA-UD5. Awesome board. And uh, it's capable of triple crossfire. And for the graphics card, I'm using the XFX Radeon HD6850, which I did testing on, on my uh, personal rig. And this card is awesome. It's an awesome card. It's going to play every game flawlessly. This, this, this computer is going to be a really, really awesome all-around computer. Excellent gaming computer. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. So I'm really um, excited about doing this computer, building it, and and testing it out, and seeing how it goes and stuff. Um, that's pretty much it with the stuff I have in here. Um, everything lights up blue. It's extremely blue. <laughs> you know, I like red, but this is not my computer. So um, go with what people like. You know what I mean? There's people out there that like blue a lot. So I do too, but I would I would go with red myself, a red black and red scheme, but blue is I guess the cool thing, you know. Um cable management wise, you know, I try my best. I have this cable here. Um this is for the fan, for the side cover fan there. Uh I try to route the cables as best I could here. Uh you can see the cables for the all the inputs for the front. Um the SATA there. You can see here the way I have it all, you know, wrapped up or whatever. Usually, like, there's hard drive base here, and I'll cover up all that so you won't be able to see this, but it doesn't have that on this particular case. Um, for the front fans, you can see there, I routed the, the wire down over there. 24-pin um, connector goes in there, goes to the back, and it comes right back out here. Same thing with the with the rear eight pin. I had to use an extend extension because it wouldn't reach. So uh, for this particular power supply, it's a little short. But luckily, I have an, you know plenty of extensions and stuff like that. So route that there. Same thing with the front audio there. Um, HD audio. I routed it up through there and stuff like that. Uh, the CPU cooler. I'm running off of the CPU fan header. Um, at 12 volts um, that's pretty much it all the fans and stuff all the wiring I did pretty decent job in the back I'm um, you know it's still clean it's not all just thrown together or whatever so um, but yeah you can see it's semi decently done I guess um, I spent some time on it making sure everything the way I wanted it you know but yeah this is the build <coughs> and uh, I'll see how it performs. Uh, maybe I'll uh, plug it in and just turn it on and see, uh, show you guys what it looks like all fancied up. Alright then guys, I just uh, powered it on, just powered it on so you can see all the lights and stuff going on. Um, and the noise level is, as well, the decibels. Let's see, I think the loudest fan would be the CPU fan. Graphics. Yeah, I think the CPU fan is the loudest one. Because uh, it's running at full speed the whole time. Um, but yeah, check it out. Let's take it from the top. I mean, it's daylight right now. If, if it was dark, all the lights turned on, off, it would be, it'd be extremely bright. So, as it is right now, it's pretty fucking bright blue. Kind of see through it. So the back of the case, rear I.O.
See, I'm going to put the cover on. I'm going to show you what it looks like with the cover on. Alrighty, there she is with the cover on. See the blue fan going on there. Cool in the graphics card. So I gotta say, it's it's pretty sweet looking. I like it. I mean, whoever buys this is gonna really like it. It's gonna perform very well, and it's gonna look cool at the same time. You know, geared towards gamers. You know, but it could still do other things if need be. But yeah, here she is. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Any suggestions, comments, questions, remarks. I'd like to hear them. Uh, and I'll answer them as best I can. Thank you.